Ani Bola, do you uh, have confidence in the way the federal government is dealing with this crisis? And I ask you also, because you're a physician. You know, the thing is, is that I understand people in government not wanting to create panic, and I don't want to create panic either. But I think it's also a mistake on the other side of the coin to underplay the risk of this. The administration has been saying over and over again, oh, this is only transmitted through direct bodily fluids. They make you think that this is like AIDS and not very contagious. And then in the next statement, they very quietly say, oh, but if you're within three feet of someone, we call that direct contact. Well, I don't think many Americans think standing three feet from someone is direct contact. They also say it can't be aerosolized, but the question people should be asking is, can it be transmitted by someone coughing on you? I think the virus can be suspended in cough particles. They call that direct contact, but I think most Americans would think that's being aerosolized. So really, I think that we've underplayed the risk of this and that we should be careful. I hope nothing bad happens. I hope we're going to have only very isolated uh, episodes in the United States. But I also don't think it's that unreasonable to suspend commercial flights. I mean, if you want to visit your son or daughter and you're coming from Liberia, couldn't you wait a couple of months? I don't think that that is something so uh, of such a immediate necessity that the chance for a worldwide contagion, I think it's not unreasonable. Fifteen countries, I think, have suspended flights. I think a temporary suspension of flights should be definitely considered.